Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burning, cauldron bubble. A call to goblins, ghouls and ghosts, Scubbin shall play your host. Dress to impress or to deceive, when the hour strikes thirteen on Spirit's Eve. Hope to see you there, Rosa. P.S. Due to the night's town festivities, you'll need to come via the mountain path. Watch out for the monsters and Marlin. And with this, I welcome you to my wonderful world of Stardew Valley. This is one of the two final events of a little farewell tour with all the NPCs running around. This being the East Scarp special event. Well, their own little ha Halloween pre-party. What's special about it is I spent about eight days divorcing all of my husbands. I was married to pretty much everybody. Sydney can't be divorced and Yuna I just got as a roommate. Very late on, but all the others all thrown out. Took me about eight hours and a lot of restarts. Why? Because there are certain events, mostly the winter night market, where... The normal schedule of many NPCs gets interrupted by marriage and they stay in your farm or around your farm and never visit the event locations. Which is sad because it feels empty and a lot of people... Which also means I can't tell you how many NPCs we will encounter today because I do not know. It's a relatively new event. It was only the second year it's in now for me. I don't know who will come and who will not. What I want to know is I have 359 mods running. Also, I'm a blobfish in a royal vest. Now I just gotta wait until everybody goes to the Scarp Inn. Ooh, guardians at the door. And I wear different costumes than the last time. Might be mod related, may also be that they have multiple costumes to choose from, which would be nice. Hey, Sterling. Sorry, farmer, but the inn's being prepared for tonight's party. Can't let you enter till 1 p.m. Oh, come on, Prince Charming, let me in. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Just keeping Sterly some company while he keeps watch at the door. Sorry, farmer, can't let you in either. Oh, but I do hope to see you later at the party. All right. I'll be, I'll be nice and wait. Oh yeah, just look at them all waltz in. All those people, everybody I had married, all were staying in my farm. Yep, there they are, all coming in. Alright, I think it's time to hop on in, right gremlin? Oh, he seems happy to see me today. Oh yeah, that, that, that looks like a party. There's actually guests and there's an event starting. Last time there wasn't an event starting. Well, howdy, people! Welcome to Spooky Town in Niskarin! Oh, how you like my mask? Head on through, there's heaps of food! Oh, and Madam Wellwick's in the Haunted Forest, if you come seeking the secrets of the seer. Ooh, Madam Wellwick. Hey, little children. Thanks for helping with the decoration this last night, Ollie. Well, it's a pity m your friend from Suzu couldn't come here. Her name's Kennedy, right? Oh, she would love to see Lexi. Hmm. Well, anyhow, I hope you made some friends here. Hello. Lexi! What are you doing here? I heard there was a party, yes? A party for monsters? <laughs> um... Wow! Hey guys, look! Look! Look at the costume! Wow! Oh, it's amazing! Bonjour! It is crazy! What a good costume! Oh, your costume's so cool, mister! <laughs> Thank you! Whoa! Your teeth are wicked! Like, 
like a shark's. It's wah. No, Vinny, they are more like a dolphin's. Oh, well, uh, welcome, Lexi, isn't it? Oh, yes, name's Lexi. I'm a friend of Oliver. Hope it's okay, huh? He bring me cookies sometimes. They stay baked by you. I like them very much. Hmm. Well, I did wonder why my cookie chair was always nearly empty. <laughs> Oliver stole them. Oh, oh, sorry. Is, is that a bad thing? Uh, uh, I have said, get Oliver friend in trouble? Oh. But I know, of course not. But I'm just glad someone's enjoying them. Really? Uh, so... Is there a cookie? Cookie. Cookie, cookie. <laughs> well, of course there is. I'll show you. Are you a sea monster? Oh, thank you for inviting me, friend Oliver. I think we'll like it here very much indeed. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Hey Jules, welcome to the fun house, Piero. It's the place to be on Spirits Eve. Hey, Rosa Totes loves this track, but if you get tired of it on Endless Loop, there's a jukebox in the games room. Repeat. Oh, uh, damn it. It's on repeat, so we can probably get either Vivian or Matthew. Piero's just the person I wanted to see. Here, I had Gus cook this up for you. Stay safe if you go dungeon delving. Make sure you're well fed and watered. Thank you. Oh, I mean it's 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 a it's a running event, so maybe he will move. Hey, Rosie. Where ain't Spirits Eve, Grand? Well, it's my favorite holiday, Piero. Ain't Spear? Darling. Hey, Fama, looking good. What's today's costume? <laughs> you like mine? Yeah. Me and Emily made it for me, so you ought to compliment them on their work whenever you can. I will, and I'm a blobfish. Yeah, it's right, so mostly they have. He yeah, has nothing more to say. Hey, Leia. Well, if you really want to live an alternative lifestyle, you have to make some sacrifices. Oh, but the rewards are so much worth it. It takes courage to make changes and live your best life. I'm proud of anyone who attempts it. Juana? Huh, isn't this event great? Rosa did great. Hmm. It's good to have our own Spirit Eve celebration in Eastcop, right? Oh, don't worry. I'll be heading into town later. I want everybody to see my amazing costume. Have I told you it's an official replica? Uh, I'm relieved to have finished my book. But I can't stop writing now. Creativity can vanish if it goes unused. Well then, write about Lexi the sea monster. Hey Lexi. Oh, there are many book people here. Maybe I'll make some new friends, yes? Uh. It's a little scary, though. I'm glad to have Ollie to keep me safe. Oh, Ollie. Hey, Ollie. Hey! Do you think Rosa likes me? What? Uh, no! I don't have a crush on her. She's... You know, she's pretty cool and all. Uh-huh. Alright. Hey, Tristan. Missing being a cat? These tiny cupcakes are delicious. I've eaten about a dozen of them. Well, leave some for the children. Hey, Shane. Mm, oh, have you tried the pumpkin cupcakes, Piero? Jazz and me, we're up to dawn baking them. Mine are the horrible disfigured one. Uh, no, it wasn't intentional. Aw, uh, just say it was intentional. You know, make them more spooky. Hey, Ali. I am writing a ghost story for my Piero. I am go It is gonna be so spooky. Hey, Marnie. 
Oh, I'm happy I get to sell my extra livestock to you. I know they're in good hands. Jake? I know there are not many people here and there are all my neighbors, but socializing still is very hard for me. Hey, Amy. Ooh, there's good people in this town and just can't seem to find happiness. Ah, oh, makes me sad. You're the one who told Clint you're not interested. Ooh, working in the saloon, I hear firsthand about everyone's problems. Oh, Clint? <laughs> I think I know what I actually want to do with my life. And that is? No, not telling me. Hey, Catherine. Oh, want to hear some spooky tales, Piro? Oh, I could tell you something that'll make your hair curl. All right. Oh. Hey, Jazz. Uh, what can I say? Rosa wanted a witch's cauldron. So I grabbed... It's grape juice, cinnamon, and a blend of other spices. The scent's quite pleasing, isn't it? It is. Hey. Oh, it's... Hey, Josie. <sighs> I'm not sure what's in this pot, mm, but it smells fragrant. <laughs> Maybe they have moved a bit. Nope. They're just hiding in each other. Hey, Maru. Hmm. My dad had a really cool experiment earlier this week. The microbes in the lake actually stabilized the lake's pH level, but in order to do that, the microbes have to die in massive quantities. Um, so that's the ghost story. <sighs> Am I bad if it was fun to replicate the process in the lab? Microbe murder! Hey, Savvy. Uh, late night on my computer last night. Oh, do I feel obliterated. Nah, I wasn't programming. Playing the game! It's a super addictive farm simulator. <laughs> Ironic, right? Yeah, you live near a farm, but you're not a farm boy. Hey, Abby. Uh, is there anything better at a Saturday in fall? I think I'm finally ready to stay overnight at your house. Maybe tonight? Oh. Trying to get back in. I was looking at the exhibit display during my shift at the museum. Got some pretty cool stuff in there. Yeah, here's your hugger. Oh, oh where do we get to? Aiden, I haven't talked to. Jasper, also missing. Now everybody's shuffling around, Luzikiel. Hey, buddy. I will admit that you have given me much to think about. There is still much more I have to understand about your culture. Like how forward I'm allowed to be with you. It wouldn't do any good if I did something that made you or anyone else uncomfortable. Though, so it's vaguely entertaining. <laughs> Ooh, the hidden forests of someplace else. Hey, lady. <laughs> Greetings, child of the old farm. Your grandfather sends you tidings from beyond. It appears that he takes pride in your accomplishment. Ah. Hey, Aiden. Oh, I do so love fall, don't you, Piro? The temperature is perfect. And the colors, beautiful. Um, all right. See time. Now, have have you two moved on a bit? No, you have not. Anywho, hey Jasper. The children and I are working on a collective volume of spooky stories. Perhaps you would care to share a story of your own. Hey, Lavril. <laughs> Boyd guards our house really well, so I don't need to worry about monsters appearing under my bed. Do you, Void? Mr. Wombos kind of looked like a boogerman! <laughs> At least from Vincent's description. 
He looks like a giant booger! Hey, Vinny. Have, have you heard about the booger man? He's like, 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 like the booger man, but, but he picks your nose in the dark. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got a giant nose, so he got a lot to pick at, and you know, it's kind of like, you know, wearing a mask on the back of your head to keep tigers away. I just wear this mask the other way around so I can sleep, and then the booger man pokes around in my paper nose. Shh! We're telling spooky stories. Would you like to tell one? Shh! Oh. There was a man, and he once had seven, eight sons. And the eighth son of the eighth son became a wizard. And against all the laws and common sense, he fell in love. He had eight sons. A sorceress. A wizard squared. Can I sit down? No. I'm gonna keep guard and let's see if any more people show up. Alright, the guests are leaving. I have to be quick. Vivian! Oh, don't go through the wall. Uh, have you met the white man up in the mountains? I wonder what skeletons are buried in his past. Uh, what? Uh, surely you'd have to be repenting for something you want to live like that. No, Linus is just a friendly old man. It looks like everybody is, you know, running away, so... This is it, folks. This is the event. It's a short one, but, well, it's a nice contrast to the night market, which will take a very long time indeed, I guess. So, thank you all for watching. Likes, favorites, subscribes. And for one last hurrah, bye-bye.